Hello, good afternoon, morning, good evening. If where you are, it's already evening. Welcome, welcome to Growth Habits with Ngozi. Remember that I'm your personal guide on the journey of growth. How are you today? It's been quite a rainy morning here in the beautiful city of Port Harcourt. So how are you and how is it where you are? Do let me know as you join. Um, do let me know as you join. And if you are watching the replay, still go ahead and let me know. Oh, okay. Our guest is already joining. <laughs> that was fast. All right. Um, so today we continue our series where we are talking about growth chronicles. And um, we've had a couple of guests come on. Um, she's still trying to join. We've had a couple of guests come on and share their journey of growth. Let me just confirm that I am audible. Let me listen to myself on my laptop and be sure that I am audible. Okay, yes, yeah, so I am audible. Um, so as I was saying, we have had several guests come on this series of Growth Chronicles where they come and they share their own personal journeys of growth. They share the lessons that they have gathered. They share, you know, the things that they have learned along the way. Um, our guest today is trying to join, but for some reason, I can't um, see her. It's just blank. Um, I guess she's still, still trying to join. So, um, honestly, we've had so many wonderful guests come on on this um, series of Growth Chronicles, and they've shared so many life-changing information and facts for us. And um, I believe that if we just even pick one of the things that have been shared in this series, your life cannot remain the same. If you just pick up one and apply it in your life, there is no way that in the next three months, the next six months, the next one year, that you will still be where you are. You would have moved on to the next level. Um, okay, I guess her network is um, a bit slow. I want to believe that's why it's taking so long for her to join. So. Um, as I was saying, please, once you come on, do let me know that you are here. Let me know where you're joining me from. All right, so it has cut off. Let me try and bring her on again. Okay. Okay, some kind of technical problems. Okay. I guess when she comes back. Okay, so assurance, if you can hear me, try and reconnect and I will bring you up. All right, so we've had several guests, as I've said, from those that while they were doing the assignment that was given to them, they were living in classrooms. They didn't have any place to stay. To those that grew up with nothing, they had absolutely nothing. They couldn't even, their parents could not even train them in school, in the higher institutions, and they took the bull by the horn. That is one thing you have you would have heard across all the persons that have come so far. They did not sit back and allow life to happen to them. They went ahead and did something about it, which is why I'm saying that if you can just take one thing from all the um, lessons we have heard, we have learned over this period because today is the last one. Oh my god, today is the last one in this series of growth chronicles. It has truly been an amazing experience bringing all these persons on to share their experiences with you. So, today is the last one. From next week, we move on to something else. So, like I said, one thing that I have seen that cuts across all of the persons that have come, all of our guests that have come on this series is that one, they saw a need in their lives. They saw that something was missing. They realized that there was a gap and they went ahead and did what was necessary to fill in that gap. They didn't sit back and say, oh, you know, this is the cards I've been dealt by life. 
There's nothing I can do about it. Like when we had Constance come on, she saw that her parents could not train her, but she wanted to learn. She truly wanted to learn. And she went ahead She started working and then schooled part-time. Like, you know, when she said that, I was, I was so amazed by it because it's not a common thing in this part of the world. Yes, you know, in the other parts of the world, in the US, UK, all those places, you can see people who go to school part-time and work part-time, but it's not a common thing, this part of the world. But she did that. She did that. She went ahead and trained herself through her university. She did a part-time program. She got her degree and she didn't stop there. You see, she did not stop there. She went on ahead. What is the next thing that I need? She went ahead and um, did it. Um, just let me just share a few um, things that they said that stood out to me. Um, for, I'll just call, let me, maybe I should start from Chimwendo. Um, yeah, that was our first guest, Chimwendo, and she spoke at length about her program, about um, the program she runs, and she said, one, that when there is an assignment, just go ahead and start, because God will always meet you on the way. He's most most times, you know, when God gives us an assignment, let me just say this, he doesn't give us the whole picture. He really doesn't. I don't know, even looking at my own life, just looking back, I can't think of any particular thing God asked me to do and I had the full picture from the beginning. No, I would only have an idea. Oh, good afternoon, Kelechi, welcome. I would only have an idea. And by the time I start, then as I go, the new ideas come, the new steps to take come. So um, she said that God will always meet you on the way, not you know when you are sitting in one place. God is not interested in people who just sit in one place. He's actually interested in you taking that step. Take the first step and go ahead. Um, she mentioned having a good support system, very important, very important to have men or women, people that are standing behind you, that are able to, you know, do the needful for you, that are able to tell you, you know, keep going, we're here for you. It is so, so important to have people like that. And when we had Helen Jo attack come, she said something that was remarkable. She said that life is a journey and we must embrace the journey. It's not about I. When I got this far, it's the journey to that place. Embrace that, that journey. Enjoy the experiences that come with it. Learn the lessons that are attached to the journey. Don't just, you know, feel that, um, you know, I need to rush and get to where I'm going to know. Enjoy that journey. Embrace that journey. And she also, uh, also mentioned that every, every season is important. Every season is important every season. So don't overlook any season. Um, assurance, um, I saw your message on WhatsApp. I can't really respond. Um, I don't know if you're on. I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, looks like she's trying to come on again. Um, I believe it will work this time. So um, then she mentioned that growth can happen in your comfort zone. I've said this so many times to us. There is nothing that grows in the comfort zone, nothing. So um, ensure that you step out, just step out a little of your comfort zone and you will see that you can do great things. Okay, our next guest was Tari Dite Ojoko. She's a lawyer also, just like Helen. And there, she said so many things. She said, run with the urgency of destiny. That assignment, run with the urgency of destiny. See, destiny does not wait. It does not sit and wait, really. It doesn't. So you have to run with the urgency, knowing that there are lives that are actually attached to you doing that thing that you need to do. And she said, take on opportunities and prepare in advance for opportunities. Don't wait. And then when the opportunity comes, you are not able to um, do anything about it. Prepare in advance for opportunities. Just think ahead. There might be, you know, 
For example, you want to, maybe in your head, your dreams is to, um, what do I even use as an example? You want to be uh, an owner of businesses. That is your dream. Don't sit back and wait for businesses to, you know, jump out at you. Go and do some courses that have to do with management. Do some management. I can hear the noise, but I'm not seeing you assurance. I think I'm getting the uh, audio from you, but I can't see the the video. Uh, I'm wondering why we are having this difficulty for you to join. Okay, but let me just go on with my review while we wait for our guest for today to join. So prepare in advance for opportunities. Then grow to match your office. Grow to match the responsibilities that have been put in your hands. Don't ever receive them and then relax. You know, some of us, when we get promoted, whether in our jobs or just generally in life, we tend to become complacent. No. No, keep on growing. Even when you think, you know, a lot of us have what is called imposter syndrome. We feel we are not good enough for the things that we are handling or for the position that we are in or for the activities that we are doing. Grow to match those responsibilities. Grow to match the responsibilities. All right. Then next we had Constance. I had already said a few things about um, the session with had with her but you know she she was she was um she was uncomfortable i think that's the best word i can use with the status quo of her life she was not okay with how things were in her life and she went ahead and did what um, was needed she went ahead and made the changes she had a curiosity to learn and she did take it to the next level i mean i cannot say this enough take the steps necessary she also mentioned that we should put value on every opportunity we get every opportunity even the ones that look so small um, put a value on it she mentioned that she started you know working in one of these business centers uh, excuse me for many of us who would have looked at it as, as menial labor and we wouldn't have wanted to you know, continue, but she placed value on it. She looked around and she saw things that she could gain from that place, as small as it looked. It was even from there that she did the certifications that she needed that now placed her in the position she is today. So it's place value on every opportunity you get, no matter how small it looks, no matter how insignificant it looks at that time place a value on it. And when you place value on something, you will find that you begin to see the gems hidden in that activity, in that thing, when you place a value on it. For example, the work, the place that she started working, the business center, when she placed value in it, she began to realize that, oh, I could learn how to use the photocopying machine. I could learn how to use the facsimile. That's the fax machine. Those were the things available in those days. I could learn how to use a computer very well. And she went ahead and learned how to use all those equipments. By the time she got the job that she got, it became very, very valuable that she already knew how to use all those equipment all right our all next, right. Our next was janet okay. okay um i hope this time around assurance can finally join us the one thing that janet said that struck uh, stuck with me she said that people around you need to you know they have to want to grow because of you that is when you know that you have done something that is when you know that you have made progress. That is when you know that, yes, I am growing because the people around you want to grow because of you. The people around you want to take the next step in their lives because of you. So ensure that you are always growing, always growing. Don't be comfortable with where you are. Now, that is, doesn't mean you become you know, greedy. Per se, but just know that there is always more. There is always that extra step that you can take. There's always something more that you can do. Um, 
don't know why the network is um, not allowing assurance to connect today. Okay. Um, the next guest we had was Pastor Favo Siri, my very own mentor. In fact, she's the mentor with the difference. I have to say this. I have to say, I've always said it in just about every session <laughs> that we have had. I've always had reason to bring up something that she said, something that she taught us. So, and during her own session, she said it a lot, truly, once again. But there were some things that stuck out. She said, of course, growth is evolving. It's not remaining the same. It's not allowing yourself to be stagnant is involving changing taking on the next level becoming the new person that is what um okay uh, okay let me see you've requested for permission um it's not even it's not even showing it's not showing that um you have requested um assurance and it's not and it's not showing i don't know what's happening today uh, okay i'm trying to request again let me go and see if i can okay let me remove hmm. okay let me try again request again let me try and um bring you on Request uh, again assurance to join the the live session. Okay, okay. Um, Pastor Faber mentioned yeah. something as building quality relationships. It is essential. Build. It's not just to build relationships. Quality relationships. Quality relationships. Build quality relationship. Don't allow. Um, relationships that you have to go stale, always stroke them. Okay. Um, as sure as request to join, don't join from the link that I had before. Just request to join. Okay. Okay. Let me try it again this time. I'm trying to add you now. Hopefully, it will go this time. All right. So, today, our guest today is Assurance Ayelara. I pray this. This connection will work. Um, let me just read her profile for us while we are waiting for her to join. Assurance is a sexual reproductive health advocate. She focuses on empowering teenage girls on menstrual health and how to eliminate the societal stigma. Uh, okay. Okay, Assurance, please join again and request her. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with this live today. Um, Have you okay. joined a Facebook live as a guest before? I can so, hear, but I'm sorry. Not have you joined Facebook live? Assurance. I can hear your background noise. Actually, I can hear somebody speaking where you are, but I can't see you. Okay, let me keep going with her profile. Um, yeah, she focuses on empowering teenage girls on menstrual health and how to eliminate the societal stigma relating to menstruation. She is the founder of One Pad Initiative, a non-profit organization focusing on advocacy for youth sexual reproductive health and menstrual hygiene management. Assurance holds a, a bachelor's degree in history and diplomacy from the Niger Delta University and a certificate in youth sexual reproductive health, a certificate on leadership in civic engagement from the University of Delaware, USA, an MBA from IFC. She's a 2022 Mandela Washington Fellow. Mm. A Sahara. Okay, please assurance request to join. Don't don't try to join from the link I had before. Just request to join. Let's see whether that works. Okay. Um, yeah, she's a 2022 Mandela Washington Fellow, a Sahara Impact Fund awardee. 
She recently wrote a book titled The Awful Surprise. The book is dedicated to young adolescent girls whom nature took unaware and confronted with the inevitable reality of menstruation at a fairly early age. This book is a guide to help them walk through the reproductive phase of their life armed with a commiserate sexual reproductive health information. And maybe she has um, that's why. Is she She's currently like running a social enterprise known as One Pad Sanitaries Limited that is working towards creating a sustainable solution to menstrual hygiene problems using natural fibers like cotton to produce reusable sanitary pads for school girls and women aged 12 to 47 in underserved communities who lack access to menstrual supplies and as a result of this miss class due to their periods and to women who complain about having uncomfortable periods due to the product they use. One pad reusable is an alternative to plastic disposable pads made from carefully selected cotton materials that is eco-friendly, leak-proof, clean, durable, comfortable, and affordable. So that is the profile of Assurance Ayelara. Um, I met, I knew Assurance years ago. We were in the same church, and when I heard about her one part initiative, then I was so impressed that such a young person had this idea, and she ran with it. Honestly, she didn't even um, wait for oh, let me wait, let's you know whatever. She ran with it. Um, I don't know why. I her network is not allowing her to join this live session today. Uh, okay. Uh, let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. I want to believe that this time it will work. Um, the point is that assurance I can hear the background noise where you are, I can hear you or someone, I don't know if it's you. Yeah, I can hear it, but I'm not seeing you. I can, I can hear, I know, I don't know what is happening. I've not seen this before. I can hear the sounds where you are but I can't see you. So I really don't know why it's doing that today. And I don't know, um, I don't know if it's your network where you are. Yes, you've requested to join and I've seen it. Okay, let's, let's do it like this. I'm going to stop this particular request now. It's, what I'm even seeing is that request now, request to join right now, assurance. Let me see if I can even see your request because all this while I've not really seen your request to join. Um, yeah, the network is, is doing its own today. So assurance request right now to join so that I can see the request live. And um, let's see if that works instead of, I, I can't see it. I can't see your request, that's why that's the issue right now. I can't see your request to join. I've checked. I'm checking again. I'm not seeing your request. I'm just seeing. Um, I'm just seeing the ones I sent to you before. The initial arrangement I made for you to come on. That's all I can see. So do an actual request right now to join. Let me see if I can see that. Okay. okay. Um, whether the network likes it or not, we must learn. Okay. I should invite you again. All right. Let's do it that way. Okay. I've invited you again. Let's see. Whether, like I said, whether the network likes it or not, I'm sure that already we have even learned something. Already, just from the recap of the things that we have done, we have learned one or two things and um as soon as assurance is able to join she will share her own story 
and from them we will also learn one or two things but remember that the key thing the important thing is not just that we are learning is that we are applying the things that we are learning it's not just enough that we are learning things we need to apply the things we are learning we need to um let them be part of our lives you know um i have in fact i was okay it was my brother i was discussing with and i was telling him that if you see my notebook on my phone my notepad it's something else there are so many different kinds of notes so many different kinds of information there and sometimes i like because you need to begin to find a way to either categorize these notes but it's because everywhere i go if i attend a meeting i am taking down notes in my on my phone if i um attend a seminar i'm writing something down as thoughts come to my mind i'm putting them down on my notepad so honestly that notepad i need to take time and put it together and arrange it categorize it so that it makes sense um so that is why many a times i um i make progress because i am noting things now and i go back to them not just that i'm writing them down now i go back to them later and um do the needful i remember there was this idea i had that was in 2000 2020 and i think i had the idea 2019 if i can remember well i was in church honestly i was in church message was going on and this idea just came to me okay assurance go out completely leave the live session and come back just leave the live session completely then join again by the time you join again it will show me that you have joined and ask if i should bring you on let's try that hopefully that will work so just leave the live session completely and join again okay so I was telling us about this experience that um, I was in church and message was going on. I was writing down, not as usual, sermon notes. And suddenly an idea just came into my head. And it was like, I'm in church. Where am I having? You know, why is my brain going different, different places? So, <laughs> all right. So, so I turned to the back of that, my notes that I was using to write the the sermons and noted down the idea that was just running around in my head and closed it <laughs> i guess because it was something that happened during church i, I did not go back to that um, i did not go back to that point again to what i noted down and for some reason i dropped that particular notepad i was not taking it to church i had started using another notepad for sermons i can't explain why now because it wasn't full but you know, I believe that all things work together for good. God has a way of making things work out for our good. So I suddenly, in 2020 now, I, I was going to church on a Sunday and happened to pick that old sermon note. I still can't explain why. Honestly, I don't know the reasons behind some of these things. You know, I just believe that it's just how God wanted it to be. So I picked up this note. Okay. Sorry, something is on my glasses and it's distracting me. I, I picked up the note and went to church and wrote, you know, the sermons for that day on um I'm sure did you go out and come back? Okay, I'm not even saying I'm not even sharing you anymore. So I guess she has gone. So please connect back assurance. So I picked up that note, went to church, wrote down the sermon and everything, and came back home. On a, sometime in the week, I can't remember the exact day of the week, I picked up that note for no apparent reason and opened the back and saw the things I wrote. And um, the funny thing is that the things I wrote at that back of that note were relevant to the things I had, well, I said I had started doing at that point. I was about to start doing, I had not started it yet. I was about you know, to start doing some things with women and um, their finances and all that. As I picked 
picked up that notebook that day and turned to the back and read the notes I had written, the things I had written in 2019, I saw that they aligned almost perfectly with the things that I was about to start doing at that point in time. So I just you know put the things together and took off and did those series of teachings at that period for the people that um needed it i guess at that time so what am i telling us is that one the things that we are learning we need to be able to apply them we need to apply them have somewhere that you write these things down have a notebook have a diary do it on your phone write it down and then follow up, follow up, have step-by-step -step, um, procedure, step-by-step -step, um, plan of how you will do whatever it is that you have learned. Have it step-by-step, -step. write it down. You know, I think part of our problem sometimes in, um, in growing or in achieving the things that we want to achieve is that one, we don't write them down, so they get lost. We think we will remember everything. We will not remember. Remember this, so the story I gave. I had forgotten the things I wrote at the back of that note. I had forgotten it, truly, until that day that I picked up that note again. So if I had not written it down, unless the Holy Spirit helps me and decides to pity me honestly, because that's what it will be, those ideas would have been gone. But because I wrote it down somewhere, I could go back to it when it was time to carry them out. So have your notebook, have your diary, use your phone, whatever, but ensure that the things that you want to achieve, you're writing them down. Then as you write them down, have a plan to achieve them. Have a plan to carry them out. You know, also one thing is that many a times, you know, our plans look so big because we have, you know, a plan to achieve one big thing in the next, let's say, six months. And it looks so unachievable. But if you can sit down and break down that plan to achieve something in six months into, okay, for me to achieve this in six months, what do I have to do each month? When you, are break, when you break them down into those smaller parts, and then you take, if I'm to achieve this in six months, every month, this is what I should do. You take each month again, and you break down the tasks, the activities contained there, into weekly targets, weekly activities, weekly tasks. So they're becoming smaller, and they're looking more achievable. You take the weekly again and you break them down to daily tasks, daily activities. I am telling you that they look so minute that you just quickly get through them. But by the end of the week, you will see that you have done so much. Funny. By the end of the month, you will see how much you have achieved. You can measure your progress. You can see how far you are going. You can see what you are doing. But if you had remained just in your head, you might never really do anything about it. You might never do anything about it. So try your best to write down one. And when you write down, break it down. Break it down. Don't allow the sheer size of the goals or of the dream to scare you or to cause you not to begin to do anything. Break them down to smaller bits. Set monthly targets, have weekly targets, have daily targets. And before you know it, your daily targets begin to look so small and you just quickly you know, get through them. At the end of the week, you have achieved a big chunk of that activity, a big chunk of that goal, a big chunk of that dream is sorted out. Um, this is one thing that I know one of the guests that I brought, Helen, she does this very well, very, very well. I see, you know, she has, you know, by the end of this week, I should have done this. By the end of this, you know, she puts dates to her plans, dates to her activities, and she begins to do the needful. Then she goes one step further. Let me tell us this is another trick that will help you achieve your goals, that will help you, you know, bring that dream to pass. Have an accountability partner. Have someone that will ask you the questions. Have 
someone that will be like, ah, Ngozi, you said that you are supposed to have done this by so so and so time. How far? Let it be someone that will not be afraid to hit you over the head if you need it. <laughs> I hope we understand. Let it be someone that is able to tell you the truth. First of all, you are not doing well. You are are doing well and when the person says you are doing well you know you are doing well when the person says you're not doing well you know that me, yes we have to make some you know adjustments you know that there's something you need to do differently okay okay so have an accountability partner these are the things that will help you, you know we're getting into the second half of this year and maybe all this January to May, you feel you have not achieved as much as you can. You can achieve much more in the second half. Even as I'm talking about this, I just want to remind us that I've opened up uh, my one-on-one -on -one clarity sessions to everyone, actually, for the month of June. For the month of June, is free. My one-hour clarity sessions, free. Book the session session and for one hour we will discuss your goals i will hear you out i will give my own two cents worth of advice and we'll try to you know help you gain okay. clarity because in whatever it is you're trying to do but it's just the one hour session that is free if we have to do a follow-up session that has to be paid the follow-up session is not free so for the month of june my one hour clarity sessions are free one hour just one hour um okay i guess i'll put the link again on this um broadcast when it's over um i did the post some days back and i put the link for you to just assess my calendar and the session. don't be there assuming okay i will i will and the sessions finish once the spots are finished in the month of june i am so sorry if you book after the month of june you will pay for the one hour session after the month of june so this will um go a long way to help you in setting those monthly weekly quarterly whatever targets you need to set in order to achieve your goals it will also help you want to make the goals clearer that dream that you have it will help you make it clearer so that you can go to the next level i really don't know what's happening today with our guests and are joining the live session <laughs> the background noise is where she is she's trying to join she's saying she's joining i can hear the background noise but i can't see her and i can't hear her per se specifically so um i really don't know what's happening today and um well all things work together for, you for sure um, i'm sure somebody is gaining something from this session already somebody is learning something from this um, session for sure already so um let me go on while we spoke that um, assurance can join us today if in the end she's not able to join you just have to reschedule um even i already have a new series starting next week if i have to reschedule for her to come on next week i will reschedule for her to come on next week and we will do the other sessions after that so um yeah, I was trying to tell us about being able to achieve our goals and having a clarity session, having an accountability partner. I can be that accountability partner for you if we go through the clarity session. I can actually be your accountability partner and remind you, you know, what you said you would do when, you know, you said you would do it. I can do that for you. But once again, it's not completely free. <laughs> it's not completely free. I will not tell us it's all free and then it's not. It's not completely free. There is a fee attached to it. But, you know, I'm not the hard task master once again. They are, you know, the, the fees are very, 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 very affordable. Just <laughs> fear not. That allow the fact that I said there's a fee to scare you. They are very, very affordable. All right. So, um, this um, 
this is interesting. This is interesting. I've not had this experience before. I can't even see her request to join. That is the funny thing. I can't see her request to join. I'm only seeing um, the invite that I invited her from the beginning. That, that is all I can see. Oh, wow. Um, okay. I guess um, this session will just be me talking. <laughs> it will just be me sharing with us. Um, maybe next week um, we can have assurance once again come up and um, share her own experience. Uh, hopefully we we'll have sorted out the bugs that's not allowing her to connect today. Okay, so let me continue with um, the things that we're saying about our goals and our plans. You know, another thing that I know that keeps us, many of us, including myself, say as I talk to you, I talk to myself. That's why when I tell you that I'm your personal guide on the journey of growth and that I take you by the hand and go on the journey with you, I don't just tell you how to go on the journey. I am actually going on the journey with you. It is the truth. Because there's nothing that I'm telling you that either I have not done or I'm not doing. There is nothing I'm telling you. That is why I am careful what I teach here. That's why I'm careful what I bring on here, honestly. Because I, I don't want to bring on something that I'm not doing. It, what, of what use? You know, I don't want to bring on theories and it's just about theories. I try to make it as practical as possible. I try to make it as realistic as possible. I try to make the things that I present to us, if that's something that I've tried or I'm trying at the current time, so that it's not just me here sitting and advising you. No, it's me telling you what works. So that when you apply it, you will see that it works and you will get the results. That is the difference. Honestly, between maybe me and somebody else, I don't know how other people do theirs. But for me, if I am going to mentor anyone, or if I'm even going to share anything, this is part of why I'm not good in network marketing. I just have to say this here. This is part of the reasons why see network marketing selling things. Mm, I'm not so good at that because if I cannot use that product and be able to say yes, this is it. I can't sell it. I can't. My conscience does not allow me. Maybe other person's conscience can allow them. But for me personally, my conscience will not let me market something that I am not sure of. If not 100%, at least 90% sure of. My conscience will not allow me to sell something to anyone that even has comma in it. And I am aware there's a comma in it. I truly cannot. So that has made it that um, I'm not the best when it comes to network marketing because maybe I've not used the product. How do I tell another person? Yes, I see people's testimonies. No, they will tell you to use other people's testimonies, other people's um, stories to tell um, or to sell, sorry, the product. and. Unless that person is somebody I know and I can testify to your story, I find it difficult. You can see that all the people I've brought so far, since we started Good Habits two years ago, I know them. I've not brought any stranger here. I've not brought anyone that I've not observed their life and seen that, yes, they are living this thing they are saying. I've not. And I will not bring. I will not bring. Before I bring up this, step, let me just be the one talking. <laughs> let me be rambling on if that's what it is. So I need to be sure of what I am giving to people. That is me. So whatever I'm telling you here, know that I've tested it. I've tried it. I'm working it out personally before I bring it to you. All right. So um, I think we'll just go ahead and conclude from here because I don't think um, Assurance will be able to join us uh, today. So next week, probably we'll, we'll bring Assurance back if she's um, available. But if not, 
if she's not available we will schedule her another time and we'll start our series the new series this new series is going to be called conversations honestly i don't know where i'm getting these titles from these days <laughs> conversations i think they are just divinely inspired so the next series we are going to do is conversations and the first in that series will be conversations on leadership so we'll talk about leadership in all these different aspects all these different ramifications because you know i've seen that you know a lot of people think they can't lead while they're actually leading and they don't realize it because we think the leader is only the person in front is only the boss is only the head but it's actually not so the first in the series of conversations will be on leadership we'll discuss some aspects of leadership once again will be as practical as possible will be as um, real as possible will give you information that is tried and tested like i said i will not come up here and begin to give us theories from books yes i do read up the things i tell us about i do but when i read up i take from what i have read the ones i know at least the ones that either I have tested if i've not tested at least i know somebody you know i know somebody that has tried this and it worked because truly i don't want us to just be doing um less common listing or let's just gather together there is no reason no sense in gathering people and talking and talking and talking and it's not impacting the lives it's not changing the lives so yes we'll start the series on conversations maybe next week maybe the week after i will talk to assurance and see if she's able to come back next week so that we'll still hold her session but if she's not able to the series on conversations will start next week then also for the month of june for the whole month of june um i will be releasing daily affirmations short short videos every day for the month of june short short affirmations from the bible um yeah all of them i think all of them will be from the bible so far they've all been from the bible i've not gotten all but i will i will release them one every day for the whole month of june i don't even know why the month of june is carrying all these things but that is how i am you know moved that is how i'm led this period so for the whole month of june each day i will release a short video i decided to record the the affirmations initially i wanted to just put them up as flyers you know something written but i just changed my mind at the last minute and decided to record them and i will release them every day in the month of june so 30 affirmations pick them up once you see them repeat them see there's something i always tell people if you want to let's assume you know you want to do affirmations or confessions whichever name we want to call it you need to say them aloud that is one thing about them you need to say them out because there's something that happens when our ears hear something our brain begins to take hold of that thing it is hearing and begins to make it our reality so you know it's not enough to just read an affirmation you know i, I usually send out this healing scriptures to people healing declarations to people and i keep telling i don't know how many of them do it but i tell them to say it out don't just read it on the phone as you've seen it read it out let your ear hear it by the time your ear hears it it picks up something from there truly and when it picks up that thing that is what it holds on to and then the the connections you know scientists say this works i'm not a scientist but they say it works when the ear hears these things the brain picks it up and then begins to make connections in your um, subconscious in your conscious mind to bring that thing it is hearing to pass scientifically proven so you see that the, the things of god they are real the bible already tells us that we will have what we say but we didn't realize that there is actually scientific proof 
then we will have what we say. But there is scientific proof. As you speak those affirmations, as I release them, as you speak them to yourself, say them severally, not even just once. Say them severally to yourself. Your brain will pick it up and begin to make the connections necessary and begin to make the neural connections, that is the scientific word for it, that will bring to pass that which you have been saying. That is how affirmations work. That is how confessions work. That is even how the word of God works in our lives. As we say it, our brain makes the necessary connections and it comes to pass those things that we are saying. And that is how we get to have what we say. Okay. So thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. It's been an interesting session today. I want to believe that you gained something because there is no way that I spoke for almost 50 minutes and you didn't gain something. Something has been deposited. You have learned something, something you didn't know before or you knew, but you have not practiced. The one, I, one thing I would tell us today, please, please put into practice the things you are learning. Get your notebook, get you a phone, whatever way you want to take note of the things you are learning. Go ahead and take note of them and then begin to apply them. Begin to apply them. Don't allow the opportunities, going back to it, don't allow the opportunities that come your way to go for naught. Do not, do not allow them to go for naught and do not allow them to be wasted because opportunities come from every angle. Thank you all once again um, for joining the live and those that will also watch the replay. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Please share what you learned. Um, go ahead and share what you learned today. Um, anything that stuck with you or that spoke to you specifically, share with me in the comments. I will respond unless I did not see that comment. I try to respond to all the comments in all the sessions. So if there's something that spoke to you, something that you want to ask a question that you want to ask, go ahead and ask in the comments. I will remember to put up the link for the calendar for you to book your one-on-one -on -one clarity session with me. Why I need you to do it that so I don't get, you know, it's easy to forget, but when you book on that calendar, it will send you an email. It will send me an email. So no way we'll say, oh, I forgot. It is documented. See, it's documented. And um, you will also see a Google Meet link because those, those sessions will be on Google Meet. All right. So. Thank you all once again for joining me. Remember to make today an everyday count. Be valuable and grow. Also, follow us on all our social media handles. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Growth Habits with Ngozi. You can also follow my personal page, Ngozi Omocholoba, which is where these live sessions um, are going on from. But yes, yes, before I forget, we are trying to work out um, how to do these live sessions from the Growth Habits page um, through StreamYard and not, um, not from my personal page any longer. So once we sort all those things out, the live sessions will happen through the um, Growth Habits page and concurrently on YouTube. So these are the things we are trying to sort out and work out. Also, also, yes, have you bought my book? I don't think you have. If you have not, please go ahead and buy the book, Unleash Your Best Self. Okay, so this is the book, Unleash Your Best Self. It is a 31-day journey of growth. It has um, prompts. It has things you can read. And then, okay, you can see this is like, this is day one. There are some things you will read. And then it has action points. I don't know if you can see it. It has action points for you to take for each day. Things, that is why it's advised that you use it along with the journal. 
Okay, so you will write the action points in your journal. But if you want to use your own journal, you don't want to use our own Unleash Your Best Self journal, it's still okay. So the action points, for example, let me just read one for you. Um, it says, breakfast with benefits. Have a nutritious breakfast is an opportunity to nourish your body and set the stage for physical well-being. So think about that. But plan your day every morning write down your goals for the day is like creating a roadmap for your personal growth journey so by the time you see this prompt in this action point for the day plan your day if you have not planned your day you go ahead the next point says positive affirmations begin your day with positive affirmations tell yourself i am capable i am growing i'm ready to seize the opportunities of the day so this will prompt you to take some kind of action and possibly write in your journal and in the in our own journal we have a place for your mood how are you feeling today there's a place for creativity you want to doodle you want to draw some things things that i am grateful for uh, a place for my goals and my intentions for the day, a place for reflections, and then finally a place to write down what I accomplished today. That is my own um, journal, the Ensure Unleash Your Best Self journal. You can see it. So you write in these places. But once again, you're free to use your own if you don't want to use ours. All right, so please send me a DM if you want a copy of Unleash Your Best Self. Okay, I was trying to tell us that my second book is already happening. <laughs> yes, and that is going to be like a growth um, affirmation, affirmation, affirmations that center around growth. This is different from the ones that will be I've record, I'm recording that we'll do for the month of June. This will be specifically tailored around growth. So there'll be like... Um, 30 affirmations or 60, I'm not even sure of the number yet. I'm already working on that, that you can use and declare over yourself to help you on your journey of growth. All right. Thank you all so much. I'll put up a, um, just send me a DM if you want the book. I'll put up the um, appointment schedule for the one-on-one -on -one session on this um, at the end of this broadcast, I'll put it in the comment section so you can go ahead and book that one on one clarity session. And I will um, send me a DM if you want the book and the journal. They are very, they are not expensive. The book is 3,500, the journal is 2,000 naira. So they are not very expensive. Okay, so um, that is it for growth habits. Is there anything I'm forgetting? I think that's all for us. Yes, that is it for. Oh, yes, one more thing. You see, that's why it's good to write things down. I did not write this down. That's why I'm thinking of it now. Also, um, I will start a three month mentorship program, just three months. I'm not sure when that is going to start. Is it that July or August? Just a three months, only three months. After three months, you graduate. <laughs> Maybe we'll do another one. I don't know, but a three month mentorship program. I will send us, send out details of that once we're ready to do that. All right. Thank you all so much for coming out today. Um, it's always a pleasure, always a pleasure to share this one hour with each and every one of you and those that watch on the replay i am so so grateful to you thank you thank you thank you thank you all so much and see you on tuesday i would let us know whether we are going to have assurance back or whether we are going to start our conversations all right thank you so much have a beautiful day bye